Okay, let's get back to that forecast with meteorologist Evan Stewart. Evan, when can we expect rain coming up? Well, we're already seeing some rain from some of the extreme outer rain bands of Debbie. And really, I think the peak will be Wednesday to Saturday with Thursday, Friday being the day that we could see some of the heaviest of the rainfall. So what does that mean? If you have a chance this afternoon, cut the grass because you likely won't be able to cut it until late this weekend into Sunday and also clear around those storm drains. If we get that heavy rain, that'll help mitigate some of the flooding issues from the heavy rain. You can see how the rain continues to spread from south to north as we've gone here through the morning into the afternoon with some heavy rain now developing across areas of Chesapeake into Virginia Beach. Had the heavy rain earlier through the outer banks of Dare County. Now this line is working its way northward across the Albemarle Sound. Just some light showers now from Oregon Inlet southward and northward along Highway 12. And then you can see some of this heavy rain right now around Poplar Branch towards Riddle, Water Lily, Gregory, Weeksville, Elizabeth City seeing some of that heavy rain right along 17 towards Hertford. And more of these showers here through parts of Suffolk, Chesapeake, and now moving their way into Portsmouth. So through the afternoon, we'll continue to see more of these showers working their way into Hampton Roads. Lesser chances to the north. You'll eventually see some of that rain, but there's still some dry air to the north that might keep some of these showers from pushing as far north as, say, Tappahannock or northern areas of the eastern shore. This evening and overnight, another round of rain rolling in, and we'll see pretty much off and on showers and isolated thunderstorms through the day on Wednesday, there'll be some breaks from time to time. But with the cloud covering the rain, temperatures will be down a little bit on Wednesday, down to the low to mid 80s. But notice into the afternoon and evening, another round of rain moving in. We'll see it again on Thursday, potentially heavier rain, and that'll continue into Thursday and Friday and even likely into Saturday. Now through at least Friday, we already have a flash flood watch for areas south of the Albemarle Sound and along Interstate 95. I expect later this afternoon or this evening, this flood watch will be expanded northward as we look for the potential for that heavy rain. Talk about this graphic a little bit earlier here, mainly along in, uh, Interstate 95, working away from north to south Carolina, right near the state line, looking at the potential around Lumberton and uh, south of the border. Those areas looking at the potential for some heavy rain, possibly over a foot of rain, and even south central Virginia through central North Carolina and South Carolina, seven to 10 inches of rain. Hampton Roads, we could see two to four, three to five inches of rain. A lot of it still depends on the exact track of Debbie. Here's a latest satellite and radar loop of Debbie. Now Debbie is working its way close to the coastline here, right around the state line of South Carolina and Georgia. It's not far from Savannah right now with winds of 40 miles per hour. It's just going to sit out here, slowly meandering for the next couple of days before it's picked up by a cold front that will race it off towards the north and east. But notice even into Friday, heavy rain likely here on the east side of the track. If it goes a lot farther inland, some of that heavier rain might be closer to the mountains and we miss out on some of it. If it's a little bit closer to the east side of this cone, certainly that heavy rain will be across parts of Hampton Roads as well. And then the storm eventually pushing up into southern Canada by Sunday. Cloudy on our priority automotive sky view. You can see some of that rain off in the distance. It's 87 degrees southwest winds at mile nine miles per hour. So 87 rain spreading north as we go through this afternoon. 83 on Wednesday, 84 Thursday, 88 Friday, looking at heavy downpours, likely weather alert days coming up on Thursday and Friday, and eventually things improve by the second half of the weekend with 88 on Saturday and morning showers on Sunday, 85 degrees and dry and mostly sunny coming up on Monday.